Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Light Saber again with another video and um, we're going to give you some quick coverage on BSC Pad. Uh, we looked at this the other day and when we looked at this, there was no chart that we could look at and they actually announced that they were doing their first audio on the BSC Pad launch pad and while we're actually on that, uh, while we're on that subject, let's just make sure that we've got the BSC Pad website up. I'm running okay so going back to the actual chart this chart I'm actually using from uh, the GoSwap app GoSwap.io and that's GoSwap with two P's on the end I actually did a video about this platform now we know that BSC pad are saying that they are launching the first um, charting structure or system on the Binance Smart Chain. We can see that they're launching BSC View and they have actually announced a time and a date. They're going to list this on the 11th of March or they're going to start the public sale on the 11th of March. Okay, and that's at 2 p.m. on the 11th of March and they're going to list the token, I believe, the following day uh, on the 12th. Okay, Pancake Swap launch. March the 12th at 4 p.m. These are UTC times, all right, guys. So if you're here in the UK, 4 p.m. It means 4 p.m. If you're in another country like the United States or wherever, obviously you need to kind of go online and find out what time that is. Now you can actually already get Binance Smart Chain charts on the GoSwap app, which launched the other day. But um, the BSC pad has definitely got a lot of hype around it. And obviously, if we look at the chart, you can see that it has been going crazy. Off that news, we saw a bit of a pump today. And we've had a pullback now. It's more or less gone up and it's come back down to this support level, okay, where it is uh, retesting. So we're looking for some buy volume to come in and take us to the upside. It's a Friday evening, just before five o'clock on a Friday evening for me here. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that this can get some momentum into the weekend. Now, bearing in mind for the simple fact that in order to take part in the IDO for this BSC view, uh, which is like the DEX tools, they're calling it the DEX tools of uh, um, the Binance Smart Chain, all right? And with the BSC pad, they're calling it like, a lot of people are calling this the poker starter of the Binance Smart Chain. But you know, a lot of people are gonna be holding these tokens in order to guarantee themselves a place in the IDO, okay? Now, in order to get whitelisted for it, if you're holding more than 5,000 or 10,000 tokens, there's no requirement for you to get whitelisted, okay? The fact that you're holding those tokens in the wallets automatically entitles you to be able to take part in the IDO. Me, personally, if you look on PancakeSwap, I am currently holding around 8,600 tokens. When I first got in on this, I actually bought like 21,500 tokens. Um, if you saw one of my previous videos, I did take profit on this. Um, but in the build up to this idea now, I took a decent position and I'm already in profit based on where I got in on this down here. And that news came out today, which I didn't know what was gonna happen. So, you know, a little bit fortunate that I did get in before that and I've rode that to the upside and I'm still holding it, obviously, even despite this pullback. We're looking for a move to the upside on that anyway, based on the news and based on the hype that we've got around this, okay? You have to hold at least 1,000 to 2,500 tokens in order to get whitelisted if you're holding less than 5,000 to 10,000 tokens you have to do all this like comment and retweet stuff which you know is not my thing and that's in the hope that you do get whitelisted for it right in these requirements it actually says that you have to stake for seven days in order to be able to take part in the IDO. but um, i did see in the telegram group that on this occasion you don't have to stake for seven days because the staking is not live yet Okay, so all you have to do is actually hold the tokens in your wallet on this occasion. So that's something to take note of. I'm going to assume that a lot of people are going to be holding quite a few tokens. So despite the ups and downs at the moment, people are going to be holding strong hands for their chance at that 100x, 100x potential on BSC view. Okay, now, just because everyone's saying 100x, it doesn't mean it has to do 100x. But if we base it on the performance of the BSC pad, this was at about three cents in IDEO, uh, which not many people knew about, including myself. And since then, obviously it's done more than 100X, probably about 120X going to $4.50, okay, 100X at $3, and obviously more than that at $4.50. 
okay so with the BSC view uh, uh, project that is going to start it's going to be uh, available for three cents in the IDO so if that goes to three dollars there's your hundred X all right guys and with the hype around this and this being the first IDO on the BSC pad it could possibly give you something even close to that or even more who knows all right it's not a prediction but um, I am looking forward to taking part in that. We're looking at about six days away, the 11th of March, before you can actually, you know, put your um, your bids on. All right, guys. But at the moment, good to hold those tokens because we don't know how far this price can shoot up. And of course, the more it goes up, the more it's going to cost you to get in to the IDO. I want to update you on shopping.io, the SPI token. I did a video about shopping.io, so if you do want to see that, you can go back and watch the video. I'll probably leave a card up above. You can click on that and that'll take you to the video. You can find out why I'm bullish on this token. I did buy some at the time, but I don't have any at the moment. I did move some money around. There's projects like BSC Pad that I'm hyped about at the moment. But they have listed their governance token. If you saw the video, you see I mentioned the fact that they were coming out with a governance token called GSPI. So the native token, the original token is SPI shopping.io. Their governance token is GSPI. Now you can stake the original token and earn rewards on that. I think you can earn rewards in the governance token on that as well. But the GSPI token is now available on PancakeSwap. It's launched today around 3 p.m. One thing I'm slightly confused about is the fact that they're saying there's no liquidity added at the moment. Now, I did check this. When it first went on, it, it started at about $24 when I saw it. Okay, so let's go GSPI. I saw it about $24, but I know it's since dropped to around $4, okay? If you look at the price impact, it's 86%, okay? So I'm not sure what's going on there. But I'm not sure whether they added liquidity and then removed it again quickly. But they did plan the launch to happen at 3 p.m. They were saying it for ages, right? Look, March the 5th at 3 p.m. I was watching this at 3 p.m. And it did come on the market at $24. So I'm not sure what's going on with it. But if you are bullish on the SPI token, this could be a good one for you. They also mentioned that they will also be launching the SPI token on the Binance Smart Chain as well. So that's something to consider, okay? So go and check that out. GSPI, governance token for SPI. Okay, guys, so that's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, okay? YouTube likes to gatekeep crypto content. So also tick the little bell so you can get these videos as soon as they hit the channel. And I think that's about it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.